The film you are about to see has no characters, it has no people. It is a film to describe to you and explain visually the effect of cymatic frequencies on texture, structure, water, oil. If you spare a little of your imagination as you watch this film as it runs, you will see many things that answer many questions. You will see living forms, living amoeba, almost animal-like creatures. You will see continents being formed, the Earth itself coming into existence, explosions, eruptions, atomic explosions and bombs. You can see all this and watch it before your eyes. But any, everything owes its existence solely and completely to sound. Sound is a factor which holds it together. Sound is the basis of form and shape. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. We are told that this is how the world began and how creation took shape. If we put that into the modern idiom and say that into the great voids of space came a sound and matter took shape. Please watch carefully. What we see here is the effect of vibration on a specific substance. We use sand and lycopodium. The sand forms the lines. We can also use different shapes of plate. Here we have a triangular plate with a crystal attached to its underside. We change to a higher note and see a rather more complicated figure. But now we can also observe moving waves. Here the sand is flowing in a current. When the wavelengths are short, these currents produce a rotary effect. Areas become defined in which the particles are actually rotating. In vibrating glycerin, we see continuous waves which form the queerest figures. And yet, the extraordinary things we see here are simply and solely the effect of vibration. A fluid, colored black, is dripped into a transparent fluid. Vibration now gives rise to curious eddy formations. plastic substance is shaped into a ball by the wave trains of the vibrating membrane. The masses are jiggled round, but gradually proper spherical shapes are formed, created by nothing more than the vibratory process. Now, by changing the amplitude, that is, changing the volume of the tone, we can bring about a very interesting phenomenon. The tone is the same, but we introduce a burst, an amplitude burst, and every time we do so, it integrates the whole situation.
All materials and substances and the various states of aggregation behave in characteristic ways under the effect of vibration. Or we can say that their behavior is specific. Here is a pulp. Here again, round shapes are formed and the circulation is set in motion. There is a definite ripple effect caused by the wave trains in the vibrating membrane, a rich field of effects due to vibration. And to end with, here, by way of contrast, is a sonorous figure, a static figure instead of a dynamic one, representing the opposite pole in the vast range of phenomena that make up the world of vibration.